again, it's April here and welcome to another studio vlog, yay! Uh, this week's studio vlog actually starts on a Monday. So I'm going to be doing it from Monday to the weekend now and popping them up on Monday at the end of the week, at the start of the next week, which is very exciting. So starting on a Monday, very exciting, I know. Um, what was I doing today? I was working all day, very busy at work, very busy at work. I'm more busy now than when I was actually at work. I don't know how that how that happens, but I am. Emails all day. Never had so many emails in my life. So just finished. Um and I've got a few lovely hours of the evening. So so <sighs> I haven't spoken to the camera for a while. So this is a little bit I'm out of breath actually, because I don't know when to take a take a breath. I don't know when to stop talking because I haven't spoken to people for so long. This is uh this is a bit awkward. But what was I going to say? I probably would just cut all of that out. That's fine. Let's start again. So Martin has his guitar lesson this evening and while he's doing his guitar lesson by Skype, I'm going to be in here painting, uh, painting away. I've actually got to, actually I'm not painting, I'm drawing, drawing away because I've got to uh, start my video for Thursday. Uh, I was going to do that at the weekend, didn't, played Minecraft all weekend. And I'm also going to make dinner uh, in a sec, very excited about that too, making pasta tonight with pasta sauce and I never buy jarred pasta sauce because I am a pasta sauce snob always make my own so I'm gonna do that and yeah tomorrow is the first day of the 100 day project so I was gonna do some sketching over the weekend and kind of like prepare stuff but then I thought nah I don't want to do that I'll just do it day by day and hopefully I'm gonna get up in the morning and do it before work so it's done and it's kind of like create get your creative juices flowing anyway I just wanted to say hi and start the vlog and I'm just gonna make dinner now, so that's really all I had to say. Just hi and welcome. This is the uh, tomato sauce I made. I, I whizzed it up in the blender because uh, I put lentils in there and it's the only way Martin will eat lentils. Don't tell Martin I said that though. If he knows it's lentils in here, he'll never eat my pasta sauce ever again. So I make it different every time. I don't follow a recipe, but normally it's tomatoes, carrots, onions, uh, tomato puree, a bit of soy sauce, soy sauce has to go in everything, um, herbs, garlic, and I put some marmite in tonight. And you'll know it's good because you want to do a happy dance. So yeah, I got that and I've also got butternut squash in the oven because I've had butternut squash in the fridge for I'm not sure how long, could have been since Christmas. It's a little bit wrinkly, but I think it's okay. Um, I'm gonna put it in the oven and I'm gonna make butternut squash and red lentil uh, soup for lunch. Mm -mm -mm. I've got the old, the old iPad here, the one that's all cracked, and I'm watching Emma Carpenter, um, not the best. Which I, mm, not the best. I can kind of just about. Uh, no, let's see if we can get a better. Sometime. No, that'll do. So that's Emma Carpenter. I've been watching her, uh, not for long, for a couple of weeks, but I've started to like go backwards in time and it's quite nice because it was like, oh, coronavirus, and now it's like, yay, art. So that's good. But I wanted to say, I am using it, the old one on the microwave, just in case I drop it on the floor again. Being responsible. Gotta get the last bits out. Tastes even better with a big spoon. So I decided not to uh, start my <laughs> my portrait video because I was taking ages cooking dinner and I can't even to start right now. I might do it later, might not. But I thought I would finish my little rat. It's my next one. So I'm still doing these. I'm uh, just trying to do them like in between stuff. I did this little rat this morning in bed before I got out of bed and I really love it. It's so cute. Little smiley face there. Um, and I've been using, what pen What pen am I using? I'm using the Ink Bleed pen. And it is quite a nice pen. Let's have a look at it. So it's got an, a lot of texture here um, around the sides. Uh, a bleed, you could say. And then it's got um, a nice little, uh, like, fall off. So if you press, if you go, like, lightly. I can actually never get the fall off to work, you know, guys. Because I am very heavy-handed. So I'm not very good at, like, going light. I mean, if I go light, it goes really shaky. <laughs> but, um, yeah, if you are good, like if you've got like, calligraphy, things like that, maybe you'll like this pen. It's quite nice. And when you pop different colours together, it does kind of like go quite nicely together. 
so that is just what I've been doing with this little rat here now the only problem is as usual he is just in the frame by himself and I never know what to do when there's just an object in the frame like what do you do so that's what I'm gonna figure out now oh I'll show you something else yesterday I did a I mentioned it in my last vlog right at the end right at the end of my last vlog I, oh Ludo did it too that's cool look I know that you watch these vlogs Ludo so look this is Ludo and they did a cup as well that's pretty cool did the same one as me um Alex Kunches Kunchevsky Alex Kunchevsky it's a lovely name can't quite pronounce it but iPad drawing for beginners so that's what we did and Martin and I did it together it was just like a little live YouTube thing um, Martin it was his very first actually I'll see I'll show you okay so Martin also did one he did a to-go cup and it was his very first procreate uh, like image that he did and I think he really enjoyed it and it was really fun watching him and like helping him out and stuff so that was really nice and what did I do you know what mine's not even on Instagram I put it on my stories so it was a beginner's course which was nice for beginners I did learn about the symmetry tool so that was good I haven't used that before but apart from that everything was kind of I knew because I just just because I've been using procreate not because I'm amazing or anything but um yeah this is the little cup that I drew so uh I kind of took his like style with kind of like his style with the texture and everything but I added my own little little elements that I like to add um and yeah it was just really fun quite a nice little relaxing afternoon yesterday can we just appreciate how good this butternut squash looks I've never roasted half a butternut squash like this before in the oven and it's so much easier than cutting it up. I'm gonna do this every time. But now I'm gonna uh, make soup. Does that look good? Oh, it looks so good to me. Can I also just show you my double iPad life? So draw an iPad, YouTube iPad. I know, living the dream.
it's Tuesday morning now and I got up at about 7.45 and I did my first 100 day project which was butternut squishes which I, I really liked. This is what I did and I didn't use a pencil at all. Um, I th really hope I get better at like line control and stuff over the 100 days but I think these are really good. I think they're, I think it's a really good little project because they're little and it only took me about 25 minutes from start to finish. I got my creativity fired up before work so that's good. Um, we have a phone call at work every day at 9.30 on our t on Teams which is like at the end of the video chat thing and today, I don't know why, but I felt like dressing up in my checkered shirt so I'm ready to go except um, I mean well I do still have my leggings on but I think that's okay. So I'll probably pop back tonight because I want to do some more stuff but um, I've got another busy day at work so I'm just going to be busy working. It's uh, Wednesday evening now, finished work about uh, and a half an hour ago and just sitting at my art desk because I'm trying to get a video ready for tomorrow. It's Thursday tomorrow and I'm going to start my new schedule with my uh, art videos coming out tomorrow. Uh, I haven't made one yet though, so I was going to do a portrait video this week because um, I wanted to start practicing portraits again, but I just haven't been in the mood to draw, especially not practice drawing. So instead of not doing one, I'm going to put a video out tomorrow that I was going to do the following week. I'm not sure if it's the best plan because I'm doing stuff with clay and I don't think it's dried completely yet, but I'll um, just show you. So uh, if this video came out on Thursday and you've seen it, you would see these already. But this, these are the little uh, clay things I made. So this, this is like a little one that I'm going to keep, and then another one that I'm going to keep because I'm greedy. This one here, I'm making for a friend. I just gessoed it, so it's a bit wet still. Now it's meant to be a bunny rabbit, and you'll notice a couple of things. One sanding didn't really go that well because the ears were so delicate I actually broke one off and then I got scared but um it's very lumpy and bumpy <laughs> very homemade and the ears are also quite pointy instead of being nice and round but uh, I don't know if I want to make another one because they're really fiddly and I didn't really enjoy making this one like I really enjoyed making this one the best this is the simplest one and it was quite fun to make this one, these ones here with the legs are quite stressful, getting the legs on and yeah. So I'm going to do this one for my friend anyway. It's a little bunny and she'll still like it because it's like handmade and it's a nice little thing. You know, it's a present I guess. This morning I got up early and I made my second uh, 100 day project and this one is cherries. And I really love this one. I love how the highlights came out on it. It's so cute. Um trying to get used to not using pencils it kind of like having to do the shadows and the highlights with paint so hopefully going to get a lot better at that over the next 100 days 98 days but um apart from that i have just been working all day it's really super busy yesterday at work i actually worked until 8 p.m yesterday so i didn't do anything in the evening just chilled out i went for a really long walk at like 10 30 last night and it was so quiet and peaceful it was lovely and also i went to the supermarket today at lunchtime because we're running out of food but there was a queue like i drove into the car park and there was a queue from the entrance all the way around the car park to the exit so i just like lapped the car park and came home and i was really sad i was really sad because i wanted to get some snacks and some little treats and stuff because we don't have much in the house also food like i needed to get like actual food so i came home and i made I made cookies. Uh, they're not perfectly round because they all merged together. They're pretty tasty. So I did that and the reason why I'm trying to do the bunny one now is because I'm going back to that supermarket tomorrow hopefully after work and it's right next to my friend's house and she asked me if I go if I can pick her up some onions and some garlic so I thought I would pop an onion in the bunny. I haven't had to do any social distancing friend stuff yet so it'll be my first time tomorrow so that'll be quite fun. But um, yeah, it'd be nice to see her face anyway and say hi before I pop back in the car. So I'm going to do that and I'm just going to try and finish these clay balls tonight so I can edit it tomorrow and get it up on YouTube. So I'll just be doing that the rest of the evening. Um, I probably won't pop back in till tomorrow. So, bye. Hagrid's big, hairy face beamed over the sea of heads, talking to each other and hardly glancing at the first years. For I'm a thinking cap. The whole hall burst into applause. Difficult. Very difficult. Plenty of courage, I see. I would like to say a few words. It's Thursday morning, about uh, just 10 minutes before I got to go to work, and I just finished this little avocado painting. 
so that's number three today of my uh, 100 days I forgot what I was doing then and this is what they look like together so far I think they're going to be so cute when they're all finished together I think the cherries are still my favourite just because of all the little highlights but it is only day three plenty more favourites to go so i got to edit this video sometime today which I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do because I'm very busy at work but it is my last day before my holidays yay a new angle but I got a monster spot on my chin so I thought up the nostril look might be a little bit better so I'm gonna do my 100 day project first to get it uh, done with because that's the most important thing today I'm doing this big piece of paper here it's not that big but it is big compared to these wee diddy ones here if you can hear yelling it's the bloody kids from next door outside on their scooters kids Ugh. I've been using this Pinterest board um, for my ideas, um, just kind of like basically copying the references, um, but making them, you know, a little bit more arty. Like this is my cherry one actually that I did on um, the other day, but I made it a little bit different with the colours. And today I'm actually really feeling like kiwi. Kiwis are delicious. I'm allergic to them, so I can't eat them anymore. Boo. And I've been listening to Harry Potter. Uh, it's pretty good, it's pretty good. Enjoying it. I lied, I'm gonna do this first. So I got these little pins here. Uh, Jenna from You Billy Art messaged me the other day and asked if I could um, hold these two back for her until my shop's open, which it probably won't be for a couple of months. I'm waiting for everything to die down with um, the coronavirus. Um, so yeah, it won't be for a while, but I said I'd get these done for her and uh, yeah, let's do them now. So I'll show you kind of what I've been doing. I think I showed this on my last vlog, but I'm basically cutting a little cross like this for the magnet ones. And then I'm sticking them through. All right, I think I cut that one a little bit too small. So we'll do a bit better on the next one. But there we go. Holds on just like that. It's not going anywhere. It's a little bit down on the page. Whoops. <laughs> oh well, I'm not perfect. Ta-da. And then I'm going to pop them in these biodegradable pouchy thingy in my bobs. There we go, so these guys are all nice and safe now. Um, and I'll just pop them away until my shop opens. So yeah, feel free to do any, if I post anything to Instagram and you want to save it until my shop opens, feel free to message me and I will put it aside like this for you. Even though this is really, like still small, it feels massive after the last few uh, fruit, fruits and veggies I've done and I can't quite get the shape of this kiwi and it's really annoying me kiwis are hard all right well that looks really dumb but I don't, <laughs> don't really care all right so it's got like a weird thingy in my bob all right so what am I going to talk about um okay I'm ready to paint I've got this plate which I'm refusing to clean. I'm just going to keep using it now because I can't be able to keep cleaning it all the time. And I've got my kiwi drawing which I had to do redo about 1,000 times because kiwis apparently are the hardest fruit to draw. I've got 7,000 brushes that I'm using that I've ruined all of. I mean, look at that. I literally brought that two weeks ago, and it's it's ruined. I don't know what I do with these brushes. I've been really enjoying doing these little paintings um, and learning more about how to paint without using pencil and using different colours for like highlights and stuff. It's been really fun. I have been using this paintbrush, which is terrible, terrible paintbrush. But it's been working okay. It actually gets quite a nice sort of texture when it's like you're doing a dry brush kind of effect. Well, it is Saturday. So it was Friday yesterday, so no one in, in England worked, um, apart from, you know, probably like shops and things, uh, supermarkets and garages and stuff, because it was a bank holiday, bank holiday weekend. So I had the Friday off, and I've actually got the entire week off next week, because my 
parents were meant to come down this week for a holiday so I had booked off the entire next week three days for my parents to come down like they were gonna they were gonna go home on Tuesday um, and then I was gonna have uh, a few days to recover from them coming down so yeah and I've got the entire week off and I'm really excited and happy about it because uh, last week was very busy at work and quite stressful. I am working from home still and I will tell you 100% I feel so much busier working from home than I do when I'm at work and I have worked from home before just like a couple of days here and there and it's been fine but it's because the entire company is working from home and it's not that I have more work necessarily it's just that my days have been interrupted and taken up with so many emails messages phone calls just because everyone is online and that's how everyone is communicating so instead of being able to pop downstairs and quickly ask someone for clarification on something you have to spend about 20 messages back and forward trying to communicate what what you meant or you have to you know phone and hope they pick up or it's just been a little bit stressful and I've had quite a lot of meetings last week about different pitches and stuff that are upcoming so there was a lot of kind of um, ideation so thinking about different ideas for projects which always is a little bit kind of not stressful but it uses your brain a bit you know like having to think of things and research things and come up with ideas so yeah I am looking forward to a holiday so basically what I did yesterday is play Minecraft all day with Martin and I let myself just have a day off day off from doing like anything and just chill out and uh, play games and have fun so I'm gonna try and do more art over the week um, and just kind of have a balance between relaxing and doing art and stuff to try and keep things on track I'm just looking at this kiwi and actually it's more yellow than orange and also if you look closely at the kiwi skin you can actually see uh, green underneath you can see the green of the fruit and then on top is kind of like fur so I might let this dry and then go over again with green but I'm gonna do this one in green first and then maybe do like a dry brush with uh, yellow orange and I have been loving using my opera pink to add into different colors to give it a little bit of a glow and also if I can find it this here leaf green which is kind of very similar it's very uh, glowy what else have I been doing uh, finished Bates Motel it ended pretty well I kind of wanted a different ending but it still ended good if you guys have seen it let me know if you like the ending um, and then we started watching Walking Dead season 9 which I don't know if people are watching Walking Dead and what season you guys are on so no spoilers but season nine started with about five episodes in. I always think it takes about six episodes to really get into the show. But it's, uh, it's been okay so far. Picked up last episode, so that was good. Just been watching people uh, walking around outside and chilling in the sunshine. People are in their gardens. I saw someone yesterday practicing golf tricks in their front garden, which was quite interesting. So I'm still working on stuff at Etsy. Last week I did my play pins another batch in my last vlog this week uh, uh as soon as i finish this i'm gonna get my ipad out and i'm gonna finish the moon series off so if you remember it was the moon stickers um people seem to get some good feedback on those and people like them so i was a little bit worried about them but i didn't i didn't think that the colors would work well with the faces and stuff but uh, i think i'm gonna go for it because i really did like that idea i have no idea what i'm doing with these kiwis Honestly, what's going on? Well, this is the finished kiwi. Uh, it doesn't really look like a kiwi. It's kind of a hot mess really, but you can't win them all. Kiwis are surprisingly difficult to draw, especially when you try to use every color that you own. 
Um, it kind of looks like a disco threw up on the kiwis, but I'm okay with that, to be honest. I'm okay with that. Tick that off my list. And now I think I'm gonna try and do those stickers. So for the moon stickers, just to refresh uh, people's memory if they've forgotten, because it was like a few weeks ago. Um, this is what the moon stickers ended up like. Uh, I had done lots of different ideas with like faces, uh, different colors and stuff. And I think I am going to simplify them a lot. So it's probably going to be this kind of color pattern, but without the glow behind. And I still want to try and do a face. So we're going to try and keep the face on because I think that gives it personality. So I have finished all the moon faces. Um, and I have, but I'll show you the layers so you can kind of see what I have been doing. So um, first I have my sketchbook pages in there just for some reference. And then these are my little moonies that I did. And then I have, um, on here I have all the sky colour in lots of different layers so I can move them around and stuff. But then, just to save time, I uh, made another layer, which is this one here that you can see, and it's all flattened together. So this has all of them on one. So this is the sky colour, then the moon colour comes on top. Then I've got the little craters, which I actually need to copy down to these ones because I forgot about them. They're very hard to see unless I kind of zoom in the craters. Now the only thing with the craters is I did have them identical. I didn't know whether switching them around would make it a little bit uh, like messy. So they are kind of identical because if you think about the moon it does stay the same. Like you never see the, like it never rotates you know. Uh, okay cool so the craters and then I have the cheeks there and then the little faces and to finish it off the little stars. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of go in and mess around with the colours and everything until I find something that I think looks uh, good. So I think this is okay for now, but what I can do is if I go up here to hue, saturation and brightness, I can kind of play with the different colours. So if I want it to be like more on the green side, more on the purple side, I can do that. And then I can make it a little bit darker, I can make it a little bit lighter. So just kind of messing around with that. So I think I kind of like to go in towards the blue. I'm just going to play with that until I get something I like. And then I will uh, do the next step, which is to take it onto the computer. I couldn't decide if I liked the original, which is darker, or this version, which I made a little bit lighter. It's probably difficult to see on screen because it's backlit by the iPad. But what I'm going to do is probably just do a version of each and see which one prints out the nicest. Not do this with one hand. Let's just rest these very gently on my keyboard. Right. So I've done my sticker sheets. This here on the left is the dark one, and this is the light one. I don't know why I told you that. You can clearly see. Now, what do you think looks better? I personally think the darker one looks better for contrast. But the lighter one looks better for the face. Hmm. It's a bit tricky. Um, I'll just show you the mistake that I made. I know, shocking. A April makes a mistake. Alright, so I'm sorry this is all on my keyboard, but I'm just like sitting at the computer, so it's just easy. So um, this is the a sticker sheet that I did first of all, and I thought that my Cricut was cutting wrong, so I, I aborted, and then I realised that actually it was cutting fine, so I sent it through again, but it recut a couple of the faces which have come off. But that's fine, because now you can kind of see what they look like off. So yeah, that's what it looks like off. So I did a little manual bleed, you can see around the cut there, it's a little bit blue around the edges. And I didn't do the regular bleed, because... Um, I had to set up the cut differently for the moon than the background, so it would cut out the sheet. I didn't know if um, like the bleed would work from the Cricut. I think they're pretty cute. Should we stick one on my book, my sketchbook? I just asked Google what moon phase it was tonight, and Google says it's a waning gibbous, which looks like it is this one. 
so this one or this one i think these are both waning well these are all waning i think but um they get closer to the full moon as they go so i think i'll pick this one because i'm a bit sleepy today and i decided to pop it in my bullet journal so i think uh for a bullet journal these guys are a little bit too big what do you guys think the only thing is if i make them any smaller you're going to lose a lot of the detail with the stars and the face and stuff so i think i'm going to keep them this size and what i've done is there's actually if i cover these up there's 16 phases of the moon so that isn't enough for a month so it's like every other day ish and then i've got some extra ones on here just because i couldn't fit i couldn't fit like them all again so then i just picked every other one and stuck them on and they can just like be decorations maybe or little extras um but yeah that's what i was thinking so these are my little moon stickers really happy with that and you know what that means i've done my one thing for etsy this week so for the rest of the day i can just draw and have fun yay hi it's me again i just was looking at the roundness of the corners of these sticker sheets and i think uh, I want to do the roundness like this. See how this is very round here? Looks quite nice. You can't hurt yourself. No paper cuts. This one here is a little bit sharper. So when I finally pick the colours, what colours I think are the best, or if you can help me out on that one, that would be awesome. I will fix the corners as well, and I might have to change the text. The problem is with my stickers is I honestly don't have a design for them. Like, I kind of want more of a design. I mean, I can't like this, how it's just all over the place and it says just the title here but for something like this it doesn't really have much of a design to the actual sticker sheet so maybe I'll work on that in the future like before I open my shop anyway let me know what you think of the moon stickers so it's Monday morning now and I'm just about to finish the vlog and upload it so I thought I would uh, say goodbye and close out the vlog here I'm not going to be doing a vlog next week because I don't want to film this week at all. It's just my holiday, so I just want to like relax and do some drawing, play some video games, you know, all that kind of good stuff. But there will be a video on Thursday, so make sure you pop back for that one. And I hope everyone had a lovely Easter weekend and is staying happy and healthy and uh, not, not too bored inside. And um, yeah, that's all for this week. So I hope you enjoyed the vlog and I will catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.